Hi everyone, my name is Peliswa, a visual artist from South Africa, based in Pretoria to be specific. So welcome to my channel. On this channel, you will learn more about my artist practice, but most importantly, on why you should write as an artist. I'm focusing on writing because it's something that has been close to my heart for some time now, because I think artists should write about their own work or at least learn how to do that. So for the longest time, I mean, for years, for decades, for centuries, it has always been the case that visual artists um, wait for art historians or art critiques to write about their work. And I'm more specific with visual arts or visual culture, let's say if you're doing visual culture studies and even art theory or you're working towards being an art historian, but you actually do make art uh, or you started off making art, it is important um, that I push the visual arts narrative because it is the field where I am most interested in and also I am um, well informed of, right? As a visual artist, I say it's important that artists write about their own work. This means that you as an artist understand your work better, way more better than any other art writer will understand your work. So I'm talking about writing from the perspective of producing the work, everything that is included in the making of the artwork, the process, the feel of material and everything that is happening around you and in your mind. So there are a lot of powerful things that happen in your mind, in your memory, more especially based on what has happened in your past and how you connect that to the work process um, of, making, of making the artwork that I play when you are in the studio producing your artwork, right? So it is important that we capture those moments as artists and in fact, not even capture them just to file them, to capture them and take them out to the world. So this means that writing about your work as you are producing it in the studio and then compiling it and having somebody help you refine it in order for you to go and publish it as yourself. Your name should be next to your work when it comes to what is written about your artwork. So um, this means that your own writing will be an extension of your studio practice, okay? What that means is that you look at writing or you approach writing and your art making process, they say you are a painter. So you look at writing and painting as coexisting in your studio practice, right? So one is not divorced from the other. So as you are working in, this, in your studio, it is important that you reflect on what you are doing. Before, let's say you approach the canvas, you write about your materials, you write about what you're expecting from the artwork, you write about um, what are you, the concept you, 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 you're using in your artworks, you know, um, you, what are you exploring, what do you wish to get at the end of the day, what politics, maybe if you, your work is full of um, political references, what are those in relation to your artwork? So you're always capturing those moments on paper, not only in your, in your thoughts. And then once you approach the canvas, as you are working, you are flowing, you are in the artwork, you're in this really amazing space of creative work and creative flow. Uh, you know, there are moments there when you step away from the artwork. Those, that's also a moment where you can also write about what was happening in your mind, what you were thinking about. So to reflect on what were you feeling as you were busy making or putting those brush marks? What were you hearing, right? The sound of the brush moving, the paint, the smell of the paint. Why do you like red so much? What does it make you think about? Are there any childhood stories that you can connect to the process? The mind is able to just think about a whole lot of things in one go. So uh, within that seemingly chaotic um, flood of thoughts, you can capture the one 
that you want to connect with the artwork or the painting that you'll be um, busy with on that day. So it is important that you as an artist, you write about your work. From there on, everything you've compiled, trust me, it will end up being part of your artist statement. So that when it comes to writing your artist statement or synopsis about your artwork, you're not just there now at the end of the artwork trying to come up with words, come up with concepts, come up with theories, you know, about your own work. It's like the writing is there. So you draw from what you already have and you develop a voice on how to speak about your work through that writing. As part of your studio practice, you keep a diary or you keep a notebook it can actually be one notebook that stays at the studio so that it's always there. And you just come in, you write, you work on your painting, and then after you write again before you go home and reflect and, and, and um, bring out your ideas and concept. If there was a book that you read, write that down. If there are quotes that you liked from that book or quotes that come up in your mind, just write them down, uh, write them down. And then when you are, when, it ti when it's time to write your artist statement, you are able to just compile everything together and submit all your reflections as part of your artist statement. Of course, you can always find somebody who's gonna also look at everything you have written with you and they can help you refine and edit. That should happen like at the last stages, right? So not to always have somebody just come in and write for you, no, okay? So what I am even vouching for in my argument that artists should write is that you can actually turn everything that you have written in your notebook or journal or artist or studio practice journal, you can compile it into an essay that you can publish so that your name, when it comes to written words, right, or theories or um, just anything that has to do with black and white on paper or on digital platforms, it doesn't matter if it's written, then your name is next to that text. It's not somebody else's always speaking on your behalf or reporting on, on what you've said about your own work and interpreting it in the ways that they want to interpret the work. So your voice comes forward even in the writing so that you don't have to worry and wait more especially for somebody to write about your work, for somebody to, to interpret your work, for so-and-so, I mean, you are so stressed that so-and-so is not coming, is not writing about your work, but has been to your exhibitions and studio. Like, come on, you know what your work is about. So start writing about it, okay? If you'd like to see more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so that you are able to get notifications whenever I post.